Howdy folks, Ben here, and I want to show you this ConvertKit report template in Google Sheets. Uh, let's start with seeing how we use it. So I'm in my Gmail, and every morning I get an email like this from my ConvertKit sheet bot. And I'm gonna to click to open it, click the PDF, and it's sharing with me this report of my ConvertKit email. Uh, so, you know, how many subscribers I've been getting the last seven days, my current list size, the average growth rate. And then the best bit of all is it projects forward where I'll reach by the end of the year based on my past seven day history. So I'm projected to get to 61,000 by the end of the year, uh, 59,000 by Black Friday. And then I've also got some targets. You know, how, how many days will it take me to get to 75,000 email subscribers at the current rate. So another year and a half. What about to 100K? Well, another three years. So, you know, really useful to say, okay, well, I've got to speed up uh, if I want to get to that 100K, for example. Uh, so that is the template. Uh, every day automatically just pops into your inbox so you can look at it and just check that your growth is consistent, staying on target, and just see if you're still managing to get where you want to get to. So super useful and super simple. All right, and that it's as simple as that. So let's see how to set it up. Uh, so there is a link in my blog post to connect to this template. So you open up a template, view only. So first thing you're gonna do is make a copy file, make a copy, and it'll tell you there's some app script that gets copied with it, that's no problem. So we'll say, okay. Just gonna make a copy. Now there are the template instructions here in the setup page, uh, but I'm gonna walk you through them right now. So we'll go to report, just check it's all there, and list state is all there, it looks good. So next thing we need to do is go to extensions to app script. So we open up app script and this opens up the script that is attached to this spreadsheet. And this is where the magic happens. It's got all of the code you need to make this run. So since we're here, first thing first, uh, put in your email address that you want these uh, reports to go to. So demo at benlcollins.com for this one, save. Then we're going to go to project settings. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see you get to script properties where you can add the script properties. You click that, then you can type in the name, the API key, which I've said is CK API key. And then you go to convert kit, you come to settings, down to advanced, and here's the API section. You need the key here, which is this one, and then you click show to get your secret. So we're gonna copy that. Back here, we had CK API key, we're gonna drop that value in, and then add one more and do the same thing, call it CK API secrets, and then go and drop in that value from the secret. Okay, so you've got to do that if you have this available, if you see this script properties. Okay, so if you don't have access to those script properties down at the bottom of the settings, I believe it's just recently been introduced to the editor, so it might be just that it's rolling out slowly. So hopefully you will have those very soon. But if you don't, don't panic. There is a function that we can use to, to set those script properties from the code. Uh, so we come back here and what we're going to do is copy in the key from ConvertKit and the secret from ConvertKit, run this function one time, which sets them and then just go and delete them because we don't really want to leave our keys visible sitting in our code. Think of them as passwords and you, know, you might uh, accidentally copy and share this script with somebody and leave your keys in there by mistake, and then that person has access to your ConvertKit account. So that wouldn't be, isn't good practice. So what we'll do is we'll we'll go and copy them. So I come back to my ConvertKit here, advanced, copy my API key. Make sure you get rid of that um, carriage return that it puts in there. Copy the secret and just drop that in. It goes between these single quotes and make sure we get rid of the um, carriage return. Like I said, it needs to have 
a comma after that first one, but nothing after that second one. So we'll save, and then we will run to get script properties. Now, if it's the first time you're running any function, you will be prompted to um, review permissions. Um, but I've done that already with this script, so I won't see that. But let's run the set script properties. Great, that's being done. So now I'll just, we'll leave them there for one moment. We'll test, I've got a test script here. So we'll find the one called test, run. And there we go, it brings them back. So they are both there available as um, global variables. So now I can go and get rid of these ones here, just here and here, just because I don't like to leave them sitting in my script, as I said. Save your script and now you're ready to go. Okay, final thing to do with the app script for now is to choose the on open function and run it. Okay, it's complete. As I said, if you're running this for the very first time, you may be prompted to grant permissions, so click okay on those ones. Back in your spreadsheet now, you will have this lovely convert kit menu. So we go back to here, let's go to list data. And you'll notice there's a new menu, convert kit menu now in your spreadsheet, which is pretty sweet. So we'll click that and we'll click get convert kit data. It's gonna to go to the ConvertKit API and pull in the latest data for you. So your, um, the dates, the size of your email list, and then it's just going to add this formula, which just uh, shows the growth. Now, obviously this, the, I'd set this up with some dummy data around about hundred subs. Um, my list is a bit bigger, so it gives you this crazy kind of growth here. So if this is your template, go back now and, and just fill in these manually but that's getting the data now. And then the next thing we'll do is try out this email, the ConvertKit reports. So this one runs, it takes a little bit longer because it converts this page here into a PDF and then it sends it to us. So everybody would dream of this amount of growth, <laughs> but sadly it's not true. Not the case in this case, just because I've got that obviously disparity with that data. But if your data is all consistent, uh, then it should show up no problem. Back here, I've got my new report, it's arrived. ConvertKit sheet bots, here we go. It's the up-to-date one, I can see it's nice. It makes it easier to see actually because of that discrepancy that this is the real one we've just created. And it has a link to the actual, my spreadsheet as well, if I want to jump back there to um, modify it. So there we go. And the, the last thing to do, there's one thing left to do, which is to set some triggers up so that these functions run. So it does that automatically for me. Uh, I don't have to come in and manually trigger those reports. So we want to run the uh, this one, posting the ConvertKit data to the sheet. Time-driven, uh, a day timer, and I'll probably go for running it from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. So in the middle of the night, and then we'll add one more trigger, which is the export and send to PDF, time driven and day timer. And what's important here is to run this at a later period than the first one. So make sure it goes and gets the data. Uh, and then when you want to send the email, it's in a, a later hour slot. So we'll save that. So the first one was, I said, one to 2 a.m. This was three to 4 a.m. So it gets the data first, then it'll send it to me. And now you just wait, that will run tonight. And then in the morning, I'll get my report sitting here for me. Wonderful. One last thing to show you is just the blog post. Um, check it out. There's a link actually at the bottom here of the, uh, of the page of your report. Also here in setup, there's a link. So you can jump over and it just has a bit more details goes through those setup again properly and uh, has more details, a little bit more explanation about how the code works and stuff if you're interested. Thanks, hope it's useful to you and enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers folks, bye bye.